welcome Cancerians. How are you, you beautiful water signs, you? This is your September 2022 reading and I'm just going to tune into spirit and channel some messages for you for empowerment, love, all that beautiful stuff that we need to hear, I feel. We need to hear this. Okay, so when I tune into your energy for this month, that's the theme I get. You need to hear this. So I have no idea what's coming, but let's see. Now, I feel like the thought of you not knowing what's coming is bringing up a few emotions that are holding you back. Um, that expectations or anticipation usually would excite you, but I feel like of late it's actually been blocking you. So let's see what your messages are for the month coming, because that's definitely coming to an end, thank God, because that was quite a roller coaster for you um, in the last couple of weeks. That's how it feels. All right. Okay, there we go, of course, the darkest fears. Yeah. Uh, balance. God, I love these cards. Open up. Hey, Cancerians. Look, spirit knows everything. Seek. I love it. I love it. All right, so yeah, it, it was almost like you went on this roller coaster of late. It feels like just the last week to 10 days or so of you just looking at your darkest fears as if they were happening you were giving them life this is all coming to an end so don't worry um and and it's nice because as an onlooker you could have had a real dark moment in the last week or so um and it was almost like you were shedding what no longer serves you you were giving yourself that last hurrah of being stuck in that space that energy that emotion that type of thing oh my lord thank god for that um and no that you were completely supported so you would have had a lot of spirit interactions so i wouldn't be surprised if you um have seen a lot of spirit movement uh past loved ones coming to you in your dreams um you know having a lot of spirit connection and you know i always say if you ever have a nightmare about a past loved one that's not them they will never come to harm us um, even if they weren't our best, their best self in the human existence, because what happens is when we pass away, we see everything from a bird's eye view, okay? We can see where our opportunities lay, our challenges lay, and, and all that type of thing. So we don't come back uh, as spirit, as that resentful, angry type of human we may have existed as. We come back as an angel like that angelic presence um and you know they may very well give you signs that you know it's them you can confirm it's them and then you get the message so if they come to you in a dream and it's actually disturbing it's not them that's you and your thoughts and you know that those darkest fears but i'm here to say that spirit is very close to you and in the last week or so they've actually been holding your hand um through this pain and, and it's been a really Really great time because it's the remnants of that it's almost like you get to the bottom of the barrel like if you're making a beautiful wine let's just say it's aging well in that car and that I don't know what's it called a cask or, or whatever the barrel um, you know you can drink it lovely but then when you get down the bottom you know it's got the gritty bits and it's just not nice and it's bitter and you've got to that part um, and you're just clearing out the excess okay so that's what last week has been so that's fantastic because you're coming into that balance now you're coming into balancing your feminine with your masculine and, and it's really nice space so you'll find that um you're you're listening to people with fresh ears and you'll see things from people's point of view um a little bit more lovingly so that's really really special um now uh, the thing with you is that you've got this habit of going into your deepest darkest fears and not sharing it you stay there as if you deserve to be there so there's um you know uh, 
a little bit of work still to be done on your communication all right your communication and you see that this is quite a blue card which is your you know they put our, our throat chakra is the blue um, chakra knowing that our chakras actually have no color they just actually give colors to our chakras so that we can differentiate between all of them like gas has no smell but they add a smell to it so we can detect it. so you'll see that when you're feeling this way it's time as soon as in, you know stop yourself in your tracks by speaking it say it out loud and you lose the power you don't let it come back down to the bottom of the barrel to add some more shit to the bottom of that wine let yourself get rid of that and you know go get a fresh bottle of wine <laughs> and i don't know why i'm talking about wine and i'm not telling everybody to drink but it's the it's just the analogy that they're giving me um, to bring that balance because it's time that you do open up open up at the start as soon as something bothers you be know that spirit is here to support you to hold your hand to literally say to you let these people know what you're thinking and you know what it might not just be a stranger it might not be a work colleague it might be someone closer it might be just you in the mirror so I, I speak to myself in the mirror quite regularly because I need good talking to's. I tell you what, I let myself spiral very quickly. If I'm having a dark day, it can be a dark week if I'm not careful, but if I speak it, I hear myself and go, oh God, not this shit again. And my husband, I'm very blessed to have, who is very black and white. So for instance, if you're waiting for results or something like that, and I think I, I just go back to my darkest fears and think the worst right and then I'll just go oh my god this is what is happening this 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 and I don't have proof or anything I just go into my fear which is a low vibration and from this space you can't connect with spirit from this space you can't be your best self and it's real low vibing so you can get confused and start making up shit that's not true and I'll just basically just say to my husband this is how I'm feeling and he'll just look at me and go have you got proof and I'm like, well, no, that's just what I'm feeling. And he goes, well, you know what? Don't come to me until you've got proof, which is very hard being a psychic medium because a lot of the time I don't actually have proof. But when I'm in my fear, I don't trust myself. I don't trust that spirit because I'm low vibing. So I need to unpack whatever's going on for me to feel closer to spirit. And then I get that guidance. I don't have to run to my husband, so to speak, to say this is how I'm feeling because I've worked it out between me and spirit. And I know my truth and I know where I'm at when I'm in my fear I'm low vibing that's the time where I need to open up this is you my beautiful Cancerians this is you you need to open up to get that balance don't let yourself spiral whatever's going on speak it because once you speak it it loses power and doesn't have time to build that momentum in you and from that space you can just trust that spirits there to help you out you sit in nature connect with with the birds with that type of thing and that's where you seek for your answers and they will come because you won't be so um bogged down by that heavy vibration of fear that heavy vibration of of um you know feeling that doubt you know and you know having fear and doubt keeps us safe sure you know it won't make bad things happen uh because we're not participating right we're shutting down we're isolating but the negative to that is much greater than the positives because we need to experience life we need to, we chose to be here this is our human existence there's nothing worse than when i speak with you know i bring someone's past loved one through and they have these regrets that they wish they knew now you know then what they know now um, we're the ones that are here living doing the human existence let ourselves be brave let ourselves move forward and experience everything so that once we are in you know the, that place of of you know being enlightened and you know passing on and being in our next life is looking down and knowing that we did the best we could with the tools that we had but we're not going to do that by keeping to ourselves and not opening up okay so your message is that you have come from a dark place in the last week or so it's coming to an end so that's a really beautiful energy to keep the momentum for the month of September so you're doing better than you have been and that's excellent to know um actually I want to just get a little trinket for you and let's see what comes ah and you know what it's the beautiful tree of life that's in a heart shape can you see that it's in a little beautiful heart shape 
And if you have a look at the seed card, you've got the trees. So the trees are calling you, nature's calling you. Get amongst it. Get amongst it. Because you will find the, the stillness in nature um, and the beauty that it'll remind you of the beauty within you. Because you've got it all within you, right? Oh, okay. And your message just to finish off just jumped out at me. Now is the time for much pleasure and satisfaction. Be happy and rejoice in the moment. <laughs> you know what? Seriously, the past is, has no longer any reference, right? It, it's the past. It's been. It's gone. Our future is really an illusion. It's not even here. All we have is the here and now. And the here and now is you listening to this reading and taking what you will. And that is that. And the more we bring ourselves back to the moment, back to the now, the more power we will build. Now, when you go back to the last week or two and your darkest fears, you're going back to past rela uh, relationships, okay, relationships, um, experiences, you're going back to past. The past is an aspect of depression. The future is an aspect of anxiety and we can swap back and forth. So when we're in the now, Everything is fine. Everything is here and now. We're, we're right here and now. It's okay. And that's what you've got to keep coming back to and doing because that's your message for September. The here and now will keep you safe. Keep doing it. You are beautiful. You are safe. You are protected. You're guided. Keep that vibe up, you beautiful Cancerians. Open up. Keep the balance and keep moving forward. And that is your message for the month of September 2022. See you next time. And I... Thank you all for being here. Be kind to others, but especially be kind to yourself. Peace out.